Hello all and welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover Amazon RDS cross-region read replicas followed by a quick demo. RDS cross-region read replicas creates an asynchronously replicated read-only DB instance in a secondary AWS region. Cross-region read replicas are currently supported for all database engines including MySQL, PostgreSQL, MariaDB, Oracle, and SQL Server. Cross-region read replicas help to improve disaster recovery capabilities, scale read operations in a region closer to end users, and migration from a data center in one region to another region. RDS cross-region read replicas does have certain limitations and considerations. A source DB instance can have cross-region read replicas in multiple AWS regions. The replica lag are usually higher for cross-region read replicas and this lag time comes from the longer network channels between the regional data centers. Also RDS can't guarantee more than five cross-region read replica instances due to the limit on the ACL entries for a VPC. Read replica uses the default DB parameter group and DB option group for the specified DB engine when configured from AWS console. However, you can configure it when using CLI. Read Replica uses the default security group. Cross-region RDS Read Replica can be created from a source RDS DB instance that is not itself a Read Replica of another RDS DB instance. For Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle and PostgreSQL DB instances. However, this limitation does not apply for MySQL and MariaDB instances. Deleting the source for a cross-region read replica has a different behavior as well depending upon the database engine. Let's navigate to the RDS console. Click on the databases. We already have an RDS demo DB created in the free tier with automated backups enabled. Read replica creation requires automated backups enabled on the source DB instance. Let's select the database instance and click on actions. Let's choose Create Read Replica. There is no separate option to create a cross-region read replica. We will configure it in the Read Replica settings. Let's configure the Read Replica settings. Under Settings, we'll leave the replica source as the source DB, RDS Demo DB. Under DB Instance Identifier, let's enter RDS Demo Cross-Region Read Replica. For instance configuration, we will leave it to the burstable classes which include the T classes and leave the T3 Instance class selected. Under AWS Region, this is where we will change the region in which the read replica would be created. The default region is set to the same region as the source, which is US East North Virginia. Let's select the region US East 2, that is US East Ohio. The page will reload to basically update the connectivity settings. For storage, we'll leave the general purpose SSD with an allocated storage of 20 GB. 
We'll go ahead and uncheck the enable storage auto scaling for the demo. For the availability and durability, we will configure the read replica as a single DB deployment. Let's deep dive into the connectivity settings. With the change in region, the connectivity configurations would now change. As the read replica would now be created in the VPC and subnets in the destination region. For the subnet group, we already have a subnet group created in the destination region. Let's navigate to the destination region and check on the subnet groups. And we have an RDS demo cross region subnet group created. The subnet group spans across three AZs and subnets. If you do not have a subnet group created in the destination region, the subnet group list would be empty. Let's select public access, default security group which allows all inbound and outbound traffic. Also note the security group is from the destination region. No preference for the availability group and leave the port to be 3306. Password authentication for database authentication and we will leave the additional configuration settings as default. Let's go ahead and create our cross region read replica. You will be brought back to the database dashboard page. Once you refresh the page, you can see the primary instance in the modifying state. However, we won't see the read replica as it is now created in a different region than the primary source database. Let's navigate to the US East Ohio region and we can see the RDS demo cross region read replica is in the creating status. The role of the instance is replica. RDS takes a snapshot of the source instance and copies it first to the destination region. Let's check on the DB snapshots. Navigate to the system section as the snapshot was not manually created by us but was initiated by the RDS itself. And we can see the snapshot created and in the available status. Once the snapshot is created, RDS then creates the read-only instance from this snapshot. RDS then uses a synchronous replication method for the DB engine to update the read replica for any changes to the source DB instance. Let's wait for the source instance and the read replica to be available. Once this is done, we will have the cross region read replica for our primary instance. The source DB instance is now available. Region and AZ has now been assigned to the read replica as well, which is US East 2B. The read replica is now in the available status. Let's quickly check on the source DB logs and events. The source DB instance event include the creation of the snapshot, which would be in the destination region. Let's check on the read replica logs and events. and the events for the read replica cover the creation of the RDS from snapshot and the start of replication from the source DB instance. 
Let's quickly also cover the promotion of the read replica to the standby instance. Cross-region read replicas help improve disaster recovery capabilities. In case of a disaster in primary AWS region, the cross-region read replica can be manually promoted to a new single AZ instance. In order to promote the read replica, let's create on actions and then promote. We will leave the defaults and click promote read replica. Wait for a few minutes for the action to complete. Note the role of the DB has changed from replica to instance now. The read replica will move from the modifying state to rebooting and backing up before being made available. The read replica is now in the available status and has changed to a standalone DB instance. So that's it for the RDS cross-region read replica demo where we created a cross-region read replica in a secondary region different from the source DB region for an existing DB instance. We also covered the promotion of the read replica to a standalone instance. I hope you liked it. Thank you all. All right, that was it. Thank you for watching. You can check out my website and connect me on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For any feedback, please leave a comment down below. To see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.